Welcome back to the Sports Mag Zone. We are continuing to talk football. Match Week 21 of the Ray and Nephew Jamaica Premier League concluded on Monday night with a doubleheader at Stadium East. Here is Javid Brand with a roundup. Disappointing 6-0 defeat to FC Cincinnati in Congo Cup Champions Cup action. Cavalier was hoping for a quick rebound, but a 56-minute strike from Andre Clennon sent Humberline into the lead. Clennon! Clennon! Look at this. Off the chest, put it in front of him, opened his body well to place it into the far corner. Jalmara Calvin leveled things up in the 72nd minute. It's more mid-afternoon. He's a header! Calvin once more. Cavalier thought they had the winner after Giovanni Leng scored in extra time, only for it to be disallowed by referee Andre Farkasin. Leng running through, thought he had his first goal of the season. Rudolph Speed can't believe it. As a matter of fact, there was another call up there for a penalty we didn't get. And then this was a clean goal. These are not easy things to miss. These are your, it, it is the most difficult thing for you to make a call like this wrong. So. I am, I mean, after we spend millions of dollars for play football, we, we're supposed to win our game to forget to win our game. Frankly, I think we win the game, except for that blatant call that um, had, have no place in football. We know where to come to see them is to, to, to at least get something from this game. We were set at, at least a point. Um, I thought well, it could be tan part that we couldn't hang on to the three points. But um, as I said, many people thought that we would have come here and, and, get, and get a drumming. But um, I thought the boys played gallantly today and, 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 and I think we deserve at least a point from the game. Meanwhile, 2022 champions Harborview wretched run of form continues. The they were beaten by Don Behold in 3 0 on the night. They should have been celebrating their 50th anniversary. Dwight Merrick on loan from Mount Pleasant opened the scoring in the 35th minute. And he strikes gold against the Stars of the East. It's a big hit from distance. Carlins and Blackwood in the 72nd minute, and Roger Smith, who signed from Harborview in January in minutes 89, did the job for Don Beholden. Very impressed, especially with the clean sheet. Um, I, I can't pick out a player who, who, I say, who I could say didn't have a good game. You know, it was a good performance right through from the goalkeeper right up to the top. The performance was a non performance, I must be, you know, and we only have ourselves to blame. I mean, when I look at the three goals, it's really a crying sheet. Here are the full match week results. Mullines United defeated Lime Hall 2-1. Portman United and Montego Bay United played to a one-all draw. Tivoli Gardens 5-0 over Treasure Beach. Very United lost 1-0 to Arnett Gardens. Mount Pleasant got by Waterhouse 1-0. Cavalier and Humble Lion were held to a one-all draw. And Dunby Holland beat in Harborview by three goals to nil. Defending champions Mount Pleasant are now two points clear of Cavalier, who has a game in hand. Tivoli Gardens, Portman United, Arnett Gardens and Dunby Holland round off the top six. Yeah, wretched time here for Harborview, who were champions just two seasons ago. And in a rematch of uh, that 2022 final between Dunbar Holden and uh, Harborview, we saw Dunbar Holden winning comfortably just now in that rap from uh, Javid. And um, really disappointing for Ludlow Bernard and his Harborview team that they are doing so poorly at the moment. Um, we saw Speed disappointed as well because he felt that uh, they got a winning goal and uh, the referee ruled it off as a foul before the goal was scored. So that result, meaning that Cavalier missed the opportunity of retaking the lead from Mount Pleasant. But uh, good competitive action in the Premier League. Yeah, that's what I like about it. You know, as I said um, last week when we did our analysis of the Jamaica Premier League lands, is the fact that you can't really sleep on any of the teams. The competition is still wide open and a lot of teams can get it done. I have to say Harborview has been so disappointing for me because it's one of the teams that I look forward to see performing well. It, it, it has been their fourth consecutive loss in the JPL. And for me, now I'm starting to wonder if the issues lands are a bit bigger than even meets the eye. Yeah, well, I don't know. Ludlo Bernard is a good coach, and um, I know that he is really frustrated with, with what's happening at Harborview because they just aren't getting the results. At the other end of the table, though, uh, Mount Pleasant continuing to do really well. We saw uh, them get a, a victory on Sunday, and a wonderful goal. We have this strike here from Kimoni Bailey, who was injured for a few months and missed the middle part of the season, but he's, he's such a quality player. Look at this strike here that he... He scores here. That's one of the best goals we have seen in the Premier League. Yes. And um, uh, that gave them the result that they needed there. I have to say, though, that I was a little, I was a little surprised by his um, post-game interview when asked by Leger Williams if that's one of the best goals or the best goal he has scored in the he Premier say? League. He, 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 to me, he downplayed the goal. 
it, he knew it was a good strike, but he felt he has he has delivered better. Let's let's hear what he said. For me, still, I've scored better than that, but you know that that one that one was a, a good one also to add to the tally. You know, sometimes it's just the hard work, and you know we just gotta be patient because I know it's coming. So it's just the patience for me. I yeah, guess I, when you're accustomed scoring <laughs> quality goals, it's yeah, well, a bit... The, the reason why that goal was such a good goal is because of how high he took the shot from. But in the moment, Lance, we're doing a press conference right after he scores the goal. He didn't get the opportunity to go back and look at the goal. Let's cut him But he left his, it, it left his boot, he should know. It took a lot of technique, not only to get the, the shot directed properly on goal, but with that power. So I would suggest, Kimoni, that that is a top strike. And while you accepted that it was a good goal, I think it was better than you realized. That's our segment. Yeah. We'll be back with our interactive, uh, interactive after this. <laughs>